Welcome to another day in the life of Rovercomer, the Faith Dog. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh wait, wrong story. <clears throat> Let's start over. Welcome to the adventures with Rovercomer, the Faith Dog. It's a beautiful day, and Rover is really looking forward to going over to Granny Lion's for dinner. Today, Granny Lion is hosting a dinner party for several of her closest friends. Let's join Granny in the kitchen, where she is preparing a wonderful meal for her guest. Okay. Let's join Granny in the kitchen, hard at work preparing for her guests. Ahem, <clears throat> I said, let's join Granny in the kitchen preparing for her guest. Biscuits. Well done, Granny. Very well done. So, Granny is running a bit behind, but I'm sure dinner will be fine. Let's see how Granny's guests are coming in their preparations. Here comes Rovercomer with his potato salad. Uh oh, Rover has spotted a squirrel. Rover, 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 like a clover. He can't get me any over. <laughs> Is the squirrel mocking Rover? That squirrel had better run. Klondike Carl is coming home, and he seems to be having engine troubles. I can't believe I'm having car troubles now. I gotta get to Granny's. Oh. Monty the Mountie is here early to help Granny out. Wow, that is one advanced math class. Those mocking squirrels. Here we are, Rover. Can you get? Can you get me, Rover? Here we are, Rover. Come on, come give me, come give me, Rover. Rover, what's better than a dog bone? Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what an enigma engines must be. Rover, here, Rover. Rover can't get me. Rover can't get me. Woo. I think Monty might be needed elsewhere. Granny loves the neighborhood children, and they love her cookies.
Here comes Fast Freddy to help Klondike out. Freddy, help me. I gotta get this car going. We gotta get to Granny's. What a delicious cake Abby has made. It looks like she's waiting for her ride. Her husband is late. It's almost time for dinner. Better hurry it up, Klondike. Ben isn't here yet. Finally, the truck is running again. Yes, he's finally arrived. Billy and Ted are here. We're done. Let's go, Freddy. Yeehaw! Here we are, Whippersnapper. I thought we'd never get here. Fast Freddy is here! Klondike Carl is here! Monty has been relegated to setting the table. Now that the table is set and everyone has arrived, we can begin this marvelous feast. Wait, somebody's missing. Who is it? Rover isn't here yet. Now that everyone has truly arrived, it is finally time to begin our feast. But wait, first, Granny wants to give thanks to the Lord. She thanked God for all the food and for providing for their needs. She thanked Him for having enough to share. She thanked God for having a plan when our plans go awry. She thanked Him for His help when we feel alone and that He gets us where we need to go, that He teaches us and helps us to learn. She thanked God for giving us strength when we are weak 
and upholding us when we are weary, and for standing with us when we are mocked or persecuted. She thanked God for showing himself strong for us when we suffer loss, when our patience is dried, and when things don't go as we expected. She found a lot to be thankful for. Then she thanked God for all the people he brings into our lives, for friendship, for fellowship, and for relationships. She thanked God for his love shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. She even thanked God for biscuits that weren't burned so badly after all. Once God had been praised and Granny's guests were aware of who they were truly thankful to and the things they were thankful for, they could enjoy their meal and good company with a light heart and cheerful spirit or a sleepy head. Learned appreciation for the day. 